this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2022 Chrysler Pacifica Touring. This vehicle features a 3.6-liter V6 gasoline engine. There have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax, and this is a Carfax certified one owner vehicle. As we get closer to the front of this vehicle, you'll be able to see that it is a beautiful ceramic gray clear coat with chrome and black accents, as you'll be able to see there on the front grille, as well as down around those fog lights. Those fog lights will help you out in inclement weather, and speaking of inclement weather, we'll come along here to the side and take a look at this vehicle's tires and wheels. This vehicle has silver 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, and as for the tire treads, you have got a good amount of life left in them, but I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second, as this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. Here on the outside of your mirror caps, you do have your turn signal indicator integrated into those. And on the inside, on the mirrors, you do have a blind spot indicator that will light up if there's anybody in your blind spot, helping you to drive just a little bit safer. These mirrors are also heated, which will help to prevent them from fogging up, as well as to help de-ice them in inclement weather. Over here on the handle, you might notice a little black rectangle. That is your passive keyless entry. Passive keyless entry is really convenient because if your vehicle is locked, you'll be able to get into it without having to take the keys out of your pocket or your purse. And up there on top of the vehicle, you do have black roof rails if you ever wanted to transport anything up there. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this vehicle. Here on the inside of this minivan, you do have black leather upholstery on the seats for a nice and easy cleanup. And like I had mentioned earlier, you do have those chrome and black accents making their way up the dashboard. While we're looking over here, I'll just open up the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here on this inspection form, you do have green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 10 30 seconds in both the front tires and 7 30 seconds in both the rear tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 8 30 seconds in the front and 11 30 seconds in the rear. So you have a long ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. You also have the regional owner's manual with the purchase of this vehicle. So if you have any questions after you buy, you'll be able to look them up in there. We'll now continue around to take a look here at the rear occupant seating. As we'll be able to see, these rear doors are powered. And you do have three rows of seats with this vehicle to seat a total of seven people. For these two rear occupants in the bucket seats, you do have pockets on the backs of both of those front seats, as well as a USB charging port integrated in the backs of both of those. And you also have a cup holder in storage space that slides out from that front center storage compartment, as well as cup holders back there for that row of rear occupants. Down on the floor, you do have carpeted floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. And spinning across this entire middle row, you do have under the floorboard space and quite a lot of it at that. So you can store whatever you like under there. As for the doors, all the doors do have cup holders in them as well as powered windows. And back here in these rear four windows, you do have sun and privacy visors that you can pull up and hook. I'll just close this door and we'll continue around to take a look at the rear of this vehicle. All along the bottom of the bumper, you do have rear proximity sensors. Those are what those little dots are and they will let you know if there's anything behind you whenever you're backing up or parking and you also have a backup camera to go along with that. I'll just put this tailgate up and as you'll be able to see, it is powered as well. All right, as we take a look in here, you do have space back here for groceries or suitcases. And those seats in front do fold down to give you a lot more space. You also have top and bottom anchor tether points on those seats if you have little ones who need car seats. And you also have anchor points along the back here if you ever wanted to strap down any significant items from shifting around as you drive. I'll just put this to the back down. And we'll continue around here now to the driver's side of this vehicle. I would like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience and to help prevent you from ever getting locked out. And that both of them do come with remote start as well. This minivan does come with powered windows, powered mirrors, and powered door locks. 
And as for the seating adjustments, you do have 10 way powered seating adjustments. So you can move the seat forwards, backwards, up, down, tilting the seat forward and back, and then four directional lumbar support. You also have a telescopic steering wheel, I meaning you could push it in and up to fit you as you like. And to the left of that steering wheel, you do have your headlight controls as well as your dashboard backlight controls. The last thing I would like to point out before we take a look to the inside of the vehicle is over here on the door because this vehicle does come with a memory system for your power seating adjustments, which is really convenient if this minivan has more than one driver. Basically, all you need to do is set your seating adjustments how you like it the first and initial time. And from then on, with the push of a button, it will automatically readjust to how you initially set it, keeping you from constantly fiddling around with those controls. I'm going to just get in this vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle is a push to start. And as you'll be able to see, with the dashboard lit up and the engine running, this vehicle has about 52,732 miles on it. We'll take our attention over here to the left side of the steering wheel because over here are your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Underneath those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have your Bluetooth and call controls as this vehicle does have smartphone integration. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, you do have your lane keep assist as well as adaptive cruise control buttons. Adaptive cruise control is really convenient because you can basically set a certain speed to cruise along the highway at, but if you end up following behind somebody, this vehicle will automatically adjust their speed, and you can also set how far away you want to follow them. We'll now take a look here to the center of this vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely touchscreen, LED display, and I'll just throw it in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. You also have heated front seats with this vehicle, as well as a heated steering wheel. And underneath this LED display, you do have an electronic gear shift, your parking brake, and then all of these buttons for that display, volume knob, your climate control settings here. A bit farther down, you do have a small storage space here and here, USB charging ports, an aux cord plug-in, a power outlet there, and then you do have a storage space that pops in and out. A bit farther back, you do have two cup holders, and then a small storage compartment here. And we'll now move on to the last section of this video. Here in the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want to be as transparent and straightforward as we can be with the purchasing process. We want you to know what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this vehicle, I do notice there on the front leather seat, you do have a stain there as well as up on that passenger side visor. But other than those, nothing is really standing out to me. So we'll move along now to the outside of this minivan. We'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections. Starting by coming along here to the front. Here along the front, you do have several small stone chips. Almost every vehicle has some form of these. The only way you can really prevent them is just by not driving your vehicle. This minivan also has comparatively few to many others I've seen. Come along here now to the passenger side. We do have a significant scratch there on the mirror cap and some scuffing right beside it. A sizable nick closer to the bottom. Maybe something like gravel spun up by those wheels. Another nick there. Small scuff. 
will come along here now to the rear of this vehicle. Now, often on minivans where I see some nicks and scratches is where the tailgate meets the bumpers. People don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And as I'm looking here, you do have some staining on this tan plastic. And a single nick here on the bumper. I don't see anything else though. A faint scratch there on the inside. I'll just put that tailgate back down. And we'll continue around back to the driver's side. Some small nicks closer to the ground. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This vehicle has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a gray minivan with the ability to seat seven, fold down seats with a good amount of space in the rear, rear proximity sensors, a rear power lift gate, backup camera, carpeted floor mats with under the floorboard space, black roof reels, heated mirrors, a blind spot monitor, a lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, a rear climate control system, heated front seats and a heated steering wheel, heated mirrors, passive keyless entry, fog lights, a built-in garage door opener, lumbar support, leather upholstery, and so much more. This is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive, located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this gray minivan and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.